In the previous section, we have completed how to create HTML tables. In this section, we are going to learn about HTML entities. HTML entities are texts used to show reserved characters or ignored characters in web page. This text starts with an ampersand and end with a semicolon. If this definition doesn't make any sense, do not worry at all. You will understand everything after completing this lesson. I'm removing the code from previous section, then saving it as entities.html. Now opening this new web page and closing the previous one. First, I want you to create a paragraph element. And here, write whatever you like. I'm writing that I want a large space here. So I want a larger space here. Save the code, reload the web page. Okay, we can see the text, but there is no space here. It is because this space are ignored by the browser. In order to make this space here, we have to use HTML non-breaking space entity. We know that any entity starts with ampersand, then the short form of non-breaking entities is NBSP and it ends with a semicolon. Save it, reload the browser. Okay, we got a little space, but I want a larger space. So let's copy this entity and paste it for several times, then save it. Reload. Okay, now I got a large space here. This is how HTML entities help in preparing the document the way you want. Now take another paragraph element. Say that now you want to teach HTML and you want to talk about BR tag. Obviously, you want to mention that the BR tag is a self closing tag. Save it and reload the browser. Oh no, there is a new line. We know that beer tags are used to create a new line. That's what the browser did. Now, how can we show the beer tag as it is? This is actually a less than symbol and this is the greater than symbol. The short form of less than is LT. So we will use ampersand, lt, and semicolon, and remove this. Then we will use ampersand, gt, and semicolon. Remove this. Save the code. Reload the web page. Exactly what we wanted. Create another paragraph element. So this time you want to talk about HTML entities. Let's start with the entity we just created at the very beginning. The ampersand NBSP entity creates a no, creates a space. Save it. Reload the web page. Oh no, that's not what we want. The NBSP has created a space, but we want to show it as it is. For that, we have to use the AMP or AMP entity. It starts with an ampersand, then the short form of ampersand AMP, then semicolon, remove it, save the code, reload the web page. All right, this is what we wanted. 
There are lots of other HTML entities out there. You can make a Google search to find the entity you need while developing your website. That's all for this section. In the next section, we're going to learn to use iframes and I'll see you there.